Mostly cloudy, but much quieter to start the work week compared to last week's weather. Temperatures pretty close to seasonal average, just a tad below this afternoon. Our high 28 after starting off this morning at uh, 23 degrees, and that's also our current temperature. It's going to be getting colder through the evening and into tonight. No precipitation to measure today in our monthly total, just shy of an inch of liquid equivalent. As we take a look at the camera view along I-75, lots of cloud cover, but no precipitation. And if you're venturing out this evening, you shouldn't have any troubles due to weather as aside from a stray flurry, it should stay dry. But snowfall quite a bit just over the last few weeks. Our season total to date, 12.3 inches, but the really important thing is that 11.8 of those 12.3 inches of snow fell just since January 23rd, so kind of a remarkable turnaround. I don't expect to add much to this total over the next several days, but perhaps a little bit by Friday, as we could see a wintry mix of precipitation by then. Temperatures now in the low to mid 20s. We're 23 degrees in Lima. It's 25 in Ottawa, 25 to the northwest in Paulding. Wind chills, as is often the case this time of year, a bit colder, lower to middle teens with a subtle breeze out of the west and south. Mostly cloudy across our local area. Not much precipitation happening in west central Ohio. Back to the west across central and northern Indiana. Some lake effect snow showers and flurries. Most of that activity will stay to our west this evening. Just the chance of a stray flurry. We don't see much of any snow accumulation tonight. Now high pressure is going to settle in and give us a dry day tomorrow. But the general trend this week is that there are lots of quick moving disturbances in a fast jet stream flow. So that's going to keep things a bit unsettled. But any precipitation looks to be localized and light. Not a big deal over the next several days, though there will be some chance for sprinkles and flurries. Skycast this evening, mostly cloudy. Again, just the threat of a stray flurry. Later tonight, we'll keep the clouds for much of the night and then some breaks in the overcast by tomorrow morning. Partly cloudy, our weather for our Tuesday and temperatures with a south wind tomorrow will warm up a bit into the afternoon. Wednesday, another cold front swings through. This one will be moisture starved, so a mostly cloudy sky. We're a little colder for Wednesday night. On our Thursday, the chance for some flurries and very light snow showers as yet another weak weather wave approaches. The stronger one, relatively speaking, will be Friday. And depending upon how much we warm up ahead of a cold front, we could see some light snow or a mix of snow, sleet and rain Friday before the precipitation ends as rain later Friday afternoon. And then another stronger cold front goes through Friday night, setting the stage for a much colder weather pattern starting for the weekend. Temperatures tonight falling back through the 20s and teens. And by early tomorrow morning, we're going to wind up just above 10 in many places. 10 degrees Ottawa, 12 degrees Lima, where the skies clear out a little more. Temperatures could be in the upper single numbers. Tomorrow afternoon, highs climb into the lower 30s. And then for our Wednesday, a little bit milder here. Mid to upper 30s for highs, 37 degrees in Lima by 5 p.m. Wednesday afternoon. Clouds tonight, very cold, a low temperature of 11. Clouds and sunshine, 34 are high for tomorrow. Seven day storm authority forecast for Wednesday, mostly cloudy, not bad. 38 degrees, scattered flurries Thursday. That chance of a light wintry mix for Friday. And then we're cold again, mid 20s for highs for Saturday. Katie.